Hi guys. Welcome to another news. Bashir Ahmad gave the reaction of Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu when he heard Peter Obi was saying he was going to reclaim his mandate. The news in details. Bashir Ahmad is a Nigerian writer and journalist who is currently the personal assistant to President Mohamed Bari on new media. Before his appointment as personal assistant to the president, Bashir Ahmed worked as a journalist. Between 2012 to 2014, Bashir Ahmed worked for Rariya Media Services Limited as an online editor and writer. Rariya Media is a Aousa weekly, weekly newspaper owned by former Minister of the Federal Capital Territory Abuja, Dr. Aliyu Madibo. Ahmed Ahmad also freelanced for Mama Arewa, the Aousa monthly magazine, as a reporter while still employed at Raria. In 2015, Bashir Ahmad joined the leadership newspaper as an assistant online editor. The same year, Bashir Ahmad was also made the social media campaign director for Sam for Nigeria in campaign organization, the presidential campaign organization of the 2015 APC presidential aspirant Mr. Sam Mendaya. After President Mamadou Bari won the 2015 general election, Bashir Ahmad was made the personal assistant to the president on new media. Bashir Ahmad is a good friend with special assistant to President Mamadou Bari on social media, Mrs. Loretta Onochi. Mrs. Onochi often described Bashir as my son. Bashir Ahmad is also an author. He wrote a house of fiction book called Us- Usman Mia, which published in 2003 by Yaron, Yaron Malam Publishing Company, while Bashir was still in primary school. Bashir Ahmed, who is the special assistant on digital communication to present Muhammad Bari, has reacted to a Twitter post by the People's Gazette on of an article about Peter Obi saying he will go all the way to reclaim his mandate from Tinumbu. He reacted to this tweet by replying to it, saying Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunumbu was just laughing after hearing this. In his official post on his Twitter account, he said Ashwa Jubala Ahmed was just laughing. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party at the just concluded post, Peter Obi, has assured the supporters that he will go all the way to reclaim the mandate from Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunumbu of the All Progressive Congress. Mr. Obi's statement comes as preparation for Mr. Obi's swearing in scheduled, scheduled for May 29 is in top gear. The special assistant on digital communication to President Muhammad Dubari, Bashir Ahmed, has made it known that Ashwa Jubal Ahmed Tunumbu was just laughing after he heard that Peter Obi was saying he was going to reclaim his mandate. He reacted to a tweet by replying to it saying, Ashwa Jubal Ahmed Tinubu was just laughing after hearing this. We recall that Peter Obi and the Labour Party filed a petition against the All Progressive Congress APC and the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, challenging the election of APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Referring to Bola Tinubu as the second respondent to the petition, one of the grounds on which the petition was based on was the non qualification of the APC candidate. The first ground of the petition states that the second respondent at the time of the election was not qualified to contest for the election. Based on the first ground in the petition, Tinubu needed to be qualified to run for the position of the president of Nigeria before he contested. Peter Obi and the Labour Party based their claim on the case against the second respondent centered on dishonesty narcotic trafficking imposed on him by the United States District Court, Northern District of Ineos, Eastern Division of the case number 93C4483. The second respondent was then fined with $460,000, which was forfeited to the United States government. The amount was taken from a Citibank International account. Section 137 of 1999 Constitution stipulates that the condition on which a con- candidate is to be disqualified from contesting for the position of the president in subsection 1D, 
the constitution states that a person should be disqualified if he is under a sentence of death imposed by any competent court of law or tribunal in Nigeria, or a sentence of imprisonment or fine for any offense involving dishonesty or fraud, or for any other offense imposed on him by any court or tribunal, or substituted by a competent authority for any sentence imposed on him by such court or tribunal. An Abuja-based legal practitioner, Peter Ochu, pointed out that the constitutional requirement for disqualification was clearly stated. He said there is no hidden clause to what the constitution provided, claiming that it was plain to layman as the weight began each word carried the exact meaning. The case Peter Obi versus Tinubu will not likely be dependent on the boldness of the court. Another legal practitioner, Basil Emba, said that what what was before the court against Tunubu was an allegation and it must be proven for it to hold water. He said he had also seen another publication of the US denying any sentencing on Tunubu which contradicted the initial law. Peter Obi asked to prove that his allegation against the disqualification of Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu is valid before the court presenting legal documents to back it up. This is how his claim can be valid, else it is just an allegation without substantial evidence. Barrister Ember, however, said that if Tunubu was sentenced by a court in the United States for which a fine was also counted as a sentence, such would be valid in Nigeria as it is a comp- from a competent court. Peter Hobby, who also said he was going to go to any extent to collect his mandate from Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu. Bashir Ahmed, the special assistant on digital communication to President Mohamed Dubari, told Nigerians that Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu was laughing after hearing that Peter Obi said he was going to reclaim his mandate. That will be all for now. Before we go, let's take a few Nigerian comments. Guest said the fight of is not going on between Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu and Peter Obi, but the fight is between the new generation of Nigeria and the corrupt leaders of this country like Tunubu. Guest said, See idiots, when you add the vote of Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu, the president elect, the vote of former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, those of Senator Kokwanso and those of the other parties are the number of Nigeria that rejected you at the polls. So stop the imp- stop the impersonating that my stolen a mandate. Nobody gave you any mandate. Obedience, nonsense talk. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts via the comment section below. Thank you and I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.